Young voter turnout in 2020 was around 8% higher than it was in 2016, according to the research from Tufts University. And students here in East Lansing had something to say about today's inauguration. Congratulations, Mr. President. Myrna Cotta was excited for the inauguration. I'm really excited. <laughs> and she's hoping the new administration brings change. Here we are in January still wearing masks. And I feel like with everything happening, like there needs to be a change. And I feel like if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be a new administration. Jack Harrison says he's feeling optimistic. We will see if Joe Biden can really live up uh, to what he's saying about uh, healing the nation. But we'll miss the Trump administration. Conservative perspective, we think that Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was super effective. Uh, that $2,000 uh, family uh, paycheck, that was great. Um, just the amount of deregulation to boost the economy. As to what Kata is looking forward to with the new president. How um, COVID is being handled with more of like the racial side of things, especially during these times, there's a lot of turmoil. While Harrison hopes to see. I definitely think the priority for most Americans is the pandemic and reopening the economy. Even though we're living in unusual times, students still found ways to commemorate the inauguration. I was in class as well as some of my other roommates, so we were trying to have our Zoom and then maybe another Zoom up or have the TV on. Just Kiss my girlfriend. Kata is looking forward to the next four years. I'm very hopeful for the new president, Biden. Hopefully we get a lot of change. Harrison wants to see unity. We are all Americans, um, and when one administration does well, regardless of party, um, I think we all do well. Reporting in East Lansing, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.